Hello, hello, it's me, I'm back again. You guys are here, oh my god, my hair's doing the weird thing again. Though I think this happened in like Skyrim, so honestly you may not, my headphones are doing some weird stuff to my head. Um, ooh, that did not feel great. Oh well, we're vibing, we're surviving. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We are back with a little bit more of some Rogue Tower. We are coming off of a win. A win with no ballistas. So kind of a unique thing. I do want to say I realized when I was like uploading it to YouTube and I titled it Cinnamon Bun that cinnamon buns are like a Canadian thing, right? In the States, they call them cinnamon rolls. And then I had like kind of a, a moment where I was like, well, in Adventure Time, which is an American show, I think, um, and now I'm super second guessing myself, um, Cinnamon Bun is a character. His name is Cinnamon Bun. It's not Cinnamon Roll. Oh, we got actually some Cinnamon Bun action here as well. Um, but yeah, like Cinnamon Bun is a dude in the show, and now I think I'm having a stroke, and I don't know what's going on. What kind of build do we want to go for? I was actively going for the No Ballista build. We have done that now. So I guess we go back into doing our typical achievement hunting of one ballista plus one other tower. We have one with Tesla coil before. I don't really want to do that. Banditry scares me. I think if we pull mana bank now, it gives us the option to do a mana driven build. Frost keeps, flamethrowers, poison sprayers. Are those all the mana ones I have right now? Now, I did see a comment. Somebody said that I think it was the cannons are absolutely immaculate. Now, look. I will get there. I promise you, I will get there. I'm coming. I really want to do it. But. But, 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 but. I'm just not there yet. I want to win with as many of these as I can. And then start unlocking those little bit more unique ones. Not unique in that their styling is different. Unique to me because... I played the game when it came out before those were really a thing. Do we go for frost keeps, I guess? I kind of want to try his poison sprayer run. It's been a long time since we've done poison sprayer. Now, if I could get a right hand turn. This is like the inverse of the cinnamon bun we got last time. Also, as I just said, but I want to make sure that I blatantly state it because sometimes I think things can get glossed over. Um, a cinnamon bun and a cinnamon, cinnamon roll are the same thing to the best of my knowledge. I do believe that they are the same thing. They are just different descriptions from different places. Give me a right hand turn. You absolute little demons, you. I'm not going to put it up there in case I do decide to go with the frost keep. I will put one here though. This will be nice because if we get a range up, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss indeed. Also, I just want to say, like, man, I was, like, watching RuPaul's Drag Race. And, like, man, that's how I get, like, so much hype. I get so much energy. Um, bless up RuPaul's Drag Race because it makes me feel so empowered and so strong as somebody who's both, like, LGBTQ2+, but also as a woman in a STEM field where, you know, again, sometimes you do get, like, crapped on a little more than you should. Is this also a plus three and I'm dumb? No, it looks like a plus two. Um, it's fine. And I've been feeling really good because I've been watching like all these like feel good shows like Queer Eye and RuPaul's Drag Race Canada and RuPaul's Drag Race and not feel good, but also love trash. Uh, we have been also watching Love is Blind newest season. Can we also, if you have been watching it, Jimmy is the absolute worst. I hate him. I hope he ends up alone. He is so rude and disrespectful but i don't actually mean that because i think people can be insanely mean especially when they are behind the veil of anonymity of the internet even if you have your name associated with what you're saying i think because you don't have to watch the person actually re oh oh actually react to the words that are coming out of your mouth it makes it a lot easier to say things that are maybe a little too harsh and intense and kind of just straight up blatantly disrespectful and rude and unnecessary i think that also goes with like youtube comments i am look i don't delete comments unless they are truly disgusting or atrocious to not just my population if you said something 
disgustingly racist and YouTube somehow didn't pull it down, I'm taking that down. If you just said something against like LGBTQ2+, even though I consider myself LGBTQ2+, oh my goodness, um, it is not okay and I will be taking that down. Nobody needs to see that and feel that way when they approach my channel, nor any channel. People shouldn't have to feel bad going anywhere. But I do think, even myself, you know, again, that veil of anonymity, that veil of not having to witness. There's actually a thing in neuroscience that talks about this, or in psychology, I guess, where it's like, people are a lot more comfortable shooting somebody with a gun than they are using a knife. Because when you use a knife, you feel it, and you actually are present and have to witness the person's reaction. Whereas a gun, you are far enough away that although it deals substantially more damage, and is more likely to kill somebody because you're not actively present and not actively having to be there experiencing it, it makes it a lot easier for people to actually do it. Um, as a Canadian, I am anti-gun violence. I am anti-gun everything except for hunting. If you want to hunt, that's fine. It's different. I'm not going to take that away from you, but I do believe in Canada's laws with like gun lockers and stuff like that. Um, do, do, do. Okay, it really wants to give me frost keeps, so I think instead of my ideal of going with the poison sprayers, we're gonna go do some frost keeping these. Um, anywho, getting back to it, all I really want to say is can we just all be a little nicer? Myself included. I can be a little bit of a spicy bee a lot, more than I probably should, and I don't think that's fair for anyone, but I will own that, and I will eat that. But we all just need to be a little bit nicer. I think it's also that my biggest pet peeve with society is like you always hear people that are like, oh, people are like lack common sense. I don't think people lack common sense. I think a lot of people actually do have that natural sense of common sense more than we estimate. I think what people, I am talking so fast. I think what people truly lack is the ability to critically think. Can I get a right hand turn? No, I can't. Now I'm spicy and angry. Angry Mel. No, it's fine. Um, no, I think people lack the ability to critically think. I think it's something I'm very thankful for having been forced to learn because of my post-secondary experiences. But let's go for another most armor. But the ability to critically think about your actions and how the words that come out of your mouth impact those around you, how your actions impact those around you. And I really became aware of this when I had somebody who is no longer my friend, but who I thought was my friend staying with us. And it made me realize that because, you know, no harm, no foul against this person. I'm not going to name names, but my goodness, they actually lacked the ability to critically think about their actions and how their actions impacted people to the extent of when they were staying with us, they would do things that I truly was like flabbergasted by. Things like I would be listening to a record and they'd walk in the room and be like, this music's absolutely trash. And I'm like, do you not think about how that like makes somebody feel? It's kind of that idea of like, you also have those friends who you kind of think are like your enemy, like they're kind of against you. And you're just like, oh, okay. I guess like you're not actually my friend. Like people who make those underhanded comments, those non-supportive, like we should be lifting each other up and not like crapping on each other all the time. It's fine to like joke and crap on each other. My husband is the king of that and does that to me 24 seven. But it's in a positive way. And if I ever turn to him and I'm like, dude, you need to like relax. He's like, okay, I'm sorry. I took it a little too far. And I'm like, yeah, you did. And then you have that conversation and you're happy, right? We are out of mana. But this girl, she couldn't do that. And it was like things like, it was the week of our wedding and we were busy every single day. And she had just been complaining that we had too much booked in her schedule. So then we were like, oh, we're not going to go out for wings. It's fine. And we missed the day that we were going to go out for wings. And then she was like, why aren't you taking me out for wings? Why are you doing this? And I was like, it is two days before my goddamn wedding. I have been seeing people every single day of the week. I come home, there's people staying with me. Like, I'm stressed out planning this wedding. And you can't even give me the benefit of the doubt. And you're going to be a little biatch to me because, like, I didn't take you for wings. Things like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, consider how the things you say and the way you say them impact other people. It's okay to be angry and frustrated with people, but it's not okay to like crap on them and like just like make them feel bad deliberately. And I think that also, we all just need to be a little more positive. And I know that's hard to say. It's the same thing of being like, well, I'm struggling with my mental health. I'm depressed. Just be happy. No, you can't. You literally can't. Your brain is saying, no, I physically cannot do this. 
But I think if we are just take that moment to maybe be a little bit nicer in one of our comments on like Twitch or, and that's not to say anything about my people. My people are like lovely, especially my Twitch audience is like so wholesome and so lovely. And if they are watching this video, which is a YouTube specific, I love you. I love YouTube too, but YouTube gets enough love from me. What am I thinking for this? I'm thinking maybe not mana bolts this. Um, really? You're gonna give me a fork right there? But just be a little bit nicer in the way we approach things and the way we talk to other people and the way that we, as I'm like ranting and complaining about every human I've like ever interacted in my life. No, that's not true. But if we just were nicer to one person, maybe that one person's not gonna be so stressed out and it's a little easier for them to ever overcome that barrier to be a little bit nicer to somebody else. And just that repeating of, it's okay to be grumpy and it's okay to not be on your best behavior. It's okay to not look your best. It's okay to do whatever you're gonna do as long as it doesn't harm anyone else. And I think that's where we're getting stuck is that the things that are being said to each other or the th ways that we talk to each other sometimes are a little more harmful than maybe we are aware of. And I really wish we could just be a little bit more nice to each other, myself included again. Like this isn't me just being like, oh my God, society absolutely sucks and I hate everyone. It's me, it's me too, honey. Like I am not, I am not this nice princess. I'm kind of like grumpy and complaining all the time. No, that's not true. I'm not overly, I try not to be negative and complaining. I'm thinking heavy shafts so I can get the, yeah, the, uh, the thing. I know there's houses over here and I could put stuff and I really should put stuff, but it's fine. I will be putting stuff. <laughs> But, I don't know, it's okay, and it's okay to have bad days, and maybe say something that you regret. When I was a teacher, well, when I was a student teacher, I never actually, like, taught, taught, just, like, was a student teacher. Actually, I guess I taught, taught when I was in post-secondary to post-secondary students in a first-year class. That's different, though. Um, I always tried to embody the, the toothpaste, me like, analogy, which is, like, if you squeeze out the toothpaste, you can never put it back in the tube 100%. And it's the way that you speak as well. When you talk to people and you say something mean, you can never 100% take that back and take back the mean things that you said to that person. And oh, not enough gold. And that's fine. We do need more mana again. Not enough gold. No. And that's fine. But, but, Think of the things you say, and if something really impacts somebody, whether it's on YouTube and it's a comment or it's on Twitch and that gets deleted and moderated right away, people can still read it. And that's still less, left a lasting mark. And if it's super toxic and super negative, even if it's something you said to somebody like, you know, teenager, you're like, I hate my mom or I hate you, mom, things like that, that's gonna like last and it can leave that little bit of a scar on somebody's like mental health and mentality. Oh, that was only level 14, I'm mad. Well, this is my new Ugi read, so it's fine. I think it's just important to like care for one another. We gotta be a little more understanding. And again, that goes back to critically thinking. If we can critically think about our actions and how they affect the people around us, not just the people we care about, but all the people around us, then we can be a little bit more supportive of a community. And that will just be better for everybody involved. Okay. I think this. Can I get a right hand turn? Nope. Oops. Do, do, do. That's my rant of the day. I hope you're ready for it. I don't think you are because I feel like I never rant. Oh, I got, I'm kind of like, I'm like running out of things to talk about. I don't have that many anecdotes. I got some good stories, but I never know how to broach the... Let me talk about that one time I encountered a cougar and almost died. Things like that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, it's fine. Um, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm running out of things to talk about. I really, it's just something I've really become aware of is I just think people are too, they're not critical enough of the way that they think 
and they talk, but they're too critical of other people. Who cares what somebody else is doing? As long as it doesn't actually affect you, who cares? Who cares what somebody's wearing? They're wearing a kilt, they're wearing a mini skirt, and you're are presenting as a man and you're offended by that? Why? Why? They're just a dude. They're just existing. I'm just a dude. I can wear whatever I want. As long as it's workplace appropriate and context appropriate. Am I going to go to the gym wearing high heels? No, because it's not context appropriate. But if I show up and I'm wearing, like, a t-shirt with, like, I don't know. I don't know what my t-shirts would have. If I'm wearing something that's, like, a plunging V and you can see, like, all the way down my sternum, who cares? As long as it's not, a, like, actually blatantly hurting somebody. Somebody's wearing a miniskirt and you don't like the gender identity that they're presenting? Who cares? How does it actually affect you? How does it affect you? Mel's rant of the day. I do like some frost bolts. But I'm gonna go for this. Okay, well I guess I'm getting frost bolts anyway. I guess I'll go for enchanted. This is okay, but enchanted bolts. All the list is <laughs> Mel's favorite. But it's fine. Just be nice. That's all I ask. <laughs> Shields are going to become an immediate problem. This one needs to get expanded real bad. I know. I see it. I still can't believe that the other run was like 50 minutes long. It's because I rant too much. And I guess when you can beef up one single path, like, you got a lot of options. Or you got no options, which makes it like way faster. Wow. Um, I, I was thinking about this, because a lot of them will only get, I don't know how the ballistas work, but when I was doing my last run, I was, like, very surprised, because a lot of them were still at, like, level, like, four. And I was like, oh, this actually isn't as good as I always thought it was, but I'm kind of still gonna do it. Sorry, not sorry. Why? Why are you turning away from me? Yaga Baba's gonna get shredded! Yaga Baba must have got shredded. Feeling good. Feeling stable, not necessarily good. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Because how much are they actually going to impact people? And if you don't have lasting bleed, then it doesn't matter. But I guess, like, these all have bleed, so... I hope you, like, within reason, I hope you guys agree with me as well. That, like, we just need to be a little nicer. I think it would help a lot of people if we just were a little less critical of people, but critical of ourselves. I will say, of every human I've ever met that is truly very critical, they also tend to be most critical of themselves. But not in the context of, like... Like, um... People who are overly critical of- okay, this is how I guess I can present it. People who are overly critical of themselves tend to be very critical of the actions that they take. But people who are overly critical of other people tend not to be as critical of the actions that they take. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I think if you're gonna be critical, you've gotta be critical of yourself first. Because you gotta recognize that- oh yes. God yes. You gotta recognize that you aren't perfect. None of us are perfect. As long as you're actively trying to improve, though, it's okay to not be perfect. Recognize that we're not all 100% gonna be the best all the time. And that's okay. 
Well, what? I don't know why I did that one. That's fine. Plus two right here. Though, I will say, as much as you've got to be critical of yourself to improve, don't be so hard on yourself that it, like, impacts your mental health. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be number one. I mean, you probably see that a lot in the way that I game and stream my content. It's okay to not win. I am totally okay with not winning. Majority of my runs I don't win. Honestly, I had a run not too long ago where it was like... It was so avoidable. Oh, yes, queen. It was so avoidable. And it was kind of embarrassing. Because it was so avoidable. And you know what it was? Is I just wasn't paying attention. That's not a good thing to admit or say. But, look. It happened. It's fine. <laughs> Things seem under control for now. I don't know how it's going to be once we hit level 26 and we start getting, like, shieldy boys. Because that's... If we get a really shield-heavy, like, um, group of guys, we're going to be in rough, rough, rough shape. Also, this is, um, this is so curious. But it is wild to see, as somebody who does stream and upload videos from a variety of different games the types of audiences and how their comments are and how their positive energy and their wholesomeness and stuff changes from game to game. It's not necessarily a bad thing because obviously like, you know, certain games are going to attract a certain type of person. But it is very interesting to see. I do want to see if this, if this could get a right hand turn. It can either go straight or right. This will be forced to portal and I'm okay with that. Ah, oh, you fricker. We had a mini boss that just got wrecked. I gotta be aware that this mini boss situation is gonna ruin me. To the point that I'm actually gonna put some money into that. I'm not going to put a frost keep there. And I will say, and I will stand by this. Y'all can be critical of me because realistically, I am, for the most part, I am a confident queen. I like who I am. I feel accomplished in what I do. And again, I don't have to be making these videos. So if people are going to be like super toxic and crappy and I'm not having fun with it, I'll just stop. But I don't think that will happen. Like, I don't want you to be like, oh my god, I'm going to stop watching her because, like, she's just going to stop at any time. No, I think you would see the trickle down. Um, but I also know that I am, I am a confident queen. Oh, I'm so hopeful. I'm a confident queen. I like who I am. I do my best to like who I am. I think you should like who you are no matter what. But it also means that if your comments can be really negative and toxic... Probably just gonna ignore it and it's probably not even gonna I'm not even gonna think about it later in the day, so honestly it's not even worth it. But I will stand by that if you make a comment that could be harmful to somebody else, other people might not be in the best mental state. They might not be in as good of a mental state as I am. And I recognize that, and I will stand by the fact that I am here to I will delete a comment to protect other people. I don't need to protect myself. I got nothing to hide. But I gotta protect other people. Especially as again somebody that I think, um, I think it surprises people that I do consider myself LGB just for the sake that, like, I don't outwardly present it. And especially because now, for the long haul, I am a, in a heteronormative relationship. Like, my partner is very, like, very heterosexual. And so we present as, like, a heteronormative relationship, though we are not necessarily because, again, my 
whole gender identity doesn't fall into that. But I think it surprises people. I think this is now my longest path, but... <laughs> It's fine, people can be surprised by me. I got nothing to hide. As honest as it is. Plus, again, like, you don't have to like who I am, but if you don't like me, I don't know why you're watching this far into a video. Um, you don't have to like everything about me. Maybe you like me 90% of the time and you're like, sometimes you're just really annoying and you sound like Fran Drescher and it makes me want to die. Honestly, true. And honestly, same. But what am I going to do? Go get vocal surgery and change what my voice sounds like? No, I'm going to embrace it. Call me Fran Drescher if you really want. Like, I don't really care. I do have a nasally voice. I also have the gods, like, ungodly amount of allergies. It's awful. I don't know what to do about it. But I'm here surviving and vibing. Oh my god! Pretty salty about that one, honey buns, but... If we can get them, like, thin the herd a little bit back here before they get here, because it's really hard for me to stagger these now, because I didn't really think it through, because I really have to get this one resolved soon. I should expand here, too. It's 25, so Ugi's coming from over here no matter what. That's also why I beefed this path up so much. Man, when I see famous people who really do just, like, embrace their identity and who they are, and not even just, like, their gender identity, just their identity. Speaking of, like, Fran Drescher, who's like, you know what? You're gonna make fun of my laugh, you're gonna make fun of my joke, let me make fun of it first and make you feel bad about it. You know? Like, let's have fun with it. Who cares? Who cares if I sound like a squeaky balloon letting out air? It doesn't matter. What am I- like, again, what am I gonna do? Change my voice? No. You can find it annoying. I'm sure a lot of people do. I don't know what I want to take. You know what? No, let's go for the two health. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do. Like, find my voice annoying. But again, it's just who I am. I'm sure a lot of people find a lot of things annoying. The fact that I wear leather pants, like, 24-7. You think people think that's cool? Absolutely not. You know why I do it? Because I like it. Woo! Also, not real leather. You think I have the money for that? Honey. Honey. I have a master's degree. I don't have money for anything. Can you not be, like, just, like, a raggy oogie? I, like, buffed up for, like, a beefy type of oogie, and you're just gonna give me, like, the oogiest oogie bitch? Man, I've also... I think playing this game and talking about cinnamon buns all the time has made me crave cinnamon buns. Also, that's the thing that, like... Look, I'm not saying that, like, obesity is a positive thing. But I also do, with having background in neuroscience, understand um, harm reduction. And I understand that most people who are overweight, it is not their fault. Something has happened in society that has caused them to gain weight. Whether it's they didn't have good food education when they were younger, they didn't have access to good foods, they got bad genes. Well, I shouldn't say bad genes. They got genes that are predisposing them to having different, like, body weights maybe you have like a like some kind of ailment like i mean like i don't know how to describe it but like you have like a thyroid issue things like that you should never ever shame somebody for being a different size or weight you should not shame somebody for things that they can't change that's actually also like something i have embodied in my entire and i wish i could embody it better through like streaming but with the fact that i work part-time at like a bridal boutique um 
I embody the idea, and I really, really want to push this, that every single body is perfect. Yes. Um, what I mean by that is it is okay to have broad shoulders. I, I don't know why people get so caught up, especially women, on having like swimmer shoulders. Honey, if you got swimmer shoulders, you could easily out, I was going to say bench press, but that's wrong. Out like lat pull down or something. I don't know. A, a, <laughs> do I go to the gym? No, I do yoga. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, you've got so many positive things. Also, you just have to wear clothes that fit your body. You're a little curvier in the midsection. Totally okay. I'm not here to judge you. You got a little bit of chest hair. I've been calling that stuff like taco meat because I think it's hilarious. I stole it from somebody on Love is Blind and now I'm like, this is my new thing that like chest hair is called taco meat, especially curly chest hair. Kind of hilarious. I'm here for it. I don't care. Rock it. Rock it, honey. You don't have to shave it. You don't have to hide it. In fact, like I really would push you against not... Someone just... Someone just followed me? This happened to me earlier too. Oh my god. Well, thank you. I don't know where my follow alerts are right now. I'm on the wrong computer. But thank you, nonetheless. But yeah, like in general, like and now it's like, oh my god, am I streaming, not recording this? Because I use like OBS for both, obviously. But oh, that was a little bit of a fear mongering situation. I don't really care about vampiric snow. Poison bolts are okay, but we already have them. Jagged head bolts are okay, but we already have them. I guess I'm going for one or the other. Let's go for poison trying to stagger this area i am sworn to carry your burdens that's exactly what that tone of voice that i just did emulated 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 god i might actually be dying today so i haven't been watching over here and i've been kind of surprised that i haven't had to watch over here and i'm feeling like okay about it surprisingly i do want them to get a little farther but this we are going all in on the crit and all we have to hope is that we get the things that are like if a i don't think we have fire do we have fire no if an enemy is poisoned they take like 10 percent of their poison damage as extra crit damage that kind of thing because like our crit chances are like is that a 50 percent chance of crit holy mel you've been going off and you didn't even know Do, 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 I don't know why I make this face now. It's like, um, speaking of love is blind, man, these are some <laughs> very niche conversations. I hope that I am making you, um, making you want to watch love is blind. I like the extra health damage. I like to like really pick a couple things and go ham into it. Somebody said that that's the way to do it. And now I'm saying it's my own idea. But. No, on Love is Blind a few, I think it was Love is Blind a few seasons ago. There was a girl who every time you'd like talk to her, she'd go. And I was like. It was so funny to me, and now I'm like, oh god, this is actually me, I'm doing this now. I can't stop it. When I think. Maybe it's like a thing with like Botox or something. I was like, gonna not talk about the fact that I have Botox, because I feel like people get weird about it. Especially when you're like younger. Like, I don't actually need it, I do it for my migraines. Like, I don't need it for wrinkles, I mean, I do it for my migraines. So I have a medical reason to do it. But also I get a better side effect now and I also can't move my eyebrows um but maybe it's like a side effect that like because you can't move your eyebrows you show it like way more in your eyes and you're like squinty eyed do -do -do -do. okay I just have like nothing out here that's doing like any damage so Okay. I don't really care about lifesteal. This is okay. Can't take a tower, can't take a tower. Don't really want golden forest because we don't have a lot of trees and don't want a tower. Okay. Do 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 do. Stop forking. 
do 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 do. Though, I think the forks, again, I think they equally distribute enemies across all the forks. So it might be beneficial to have more forks way out here. <laughs> do you even, like, hit? Barely. Could consider putting down more frost keeps as well. This is gonna be like frost keep hell in here. Frost keep hell on earth. Okay. Yes, see, this is what I wanted. And now we just need the poison one, and we also need to get flaming bolts. <laughs> Give me a turn. Yeah, this is gonna be a portal. This will be a portal. Or sorry, this will be a portal. How are we doing over here? I wouldn't say this is immaculate, but it's good enough. I was mapping out my roots. I'm like, okay. This one isn't portal yet. If I can get this to come down, then this will force to go this way, and then I can have it be a little longer. But then I'm also worried about having it too long because these guys here. So I need to extend one of these also to stagger it, but I think we're doing okay. This is pretty good. I think the monster study ones are actually like really, really good and should not be underestimated. I don't think this would hit both sides, hey? 1350, let's see. Because with that portal being, or that walkway being so small, it is concerning. 1350, it's just a test out. It looks like it will, so I might just leave it. <laughs> It's snowing. Oh, we are struggling on the mana front here. Mel, not paying attention, honey buns. I see you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. This baby. Okay, this is okay. This is pretty good actually. Okay, we're gonna see what this does. Okay, yes. Are you shield? You're shield. You should also be shield. <laughs> I want to extend this one too. Should have a few more things up here. Just to help out. Mm 
How are we doing? 210? Okay, it's going up. Your shield? Yeah. 970. I don't think we can do anything else. I think this is too OP right now. Like, look at that. Holy. Okay. That's fine. We got Mufasa. When he was, like, way better on shield. very weird but it's functioning so <laughs> got some voice up here because I don't want to put too much like this pathway is doing fine because it's just it just is so long so I don't want to put too much more up there because it's under control this is my oogie path so I do need to consider putting more on oogie path but okay burn finally got it I didn't know you could just decide to portal I'm a little salty about that because I was hoping I could get it closer and put some boys over here, but. Is it really that? There's no way we're that close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, we are. Frick, I didn't stagger this, I didn't stagger this. Ah, oh, that's not great. We also didn't stagger this one. So we're going to do this, because we're going to need it. <laughs> to be expected up here. Oops, I should go for most health on that one. Could try going for a university. It's been a long time since we've done that. Let's send it. No. I can't believe we portaled even before we got like Oogie. Oogie. <laughs> 
love to get my cross keeps beefed up on like armor and shield just because we're heading into the final 10. And I see it becoming an issue. Yugi's back here taking some bleed damage, I see it. Be strong, my mangoes. I don't know if any of them are left, honey buns. We're in an okay spot. I wish I would have counted a little earlier and not been so silly about it, but... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for this too. Sure. Okay, well, one fur is it. Um... Okay. Well, they're all going to portal anyway. on a near death least health to start pinging off some of those last minutes put one over here as well for that exact same thing near death least health on elevation. That one's also on an elevation. Near death, please tell. Ooh, there was a mini boss. Mana bank. Okay, we got this. Can't take it, can't take it, can't take it. This is okay. The other two were also okay. That's not what I wanted.
This is not as okay. Trees. Oh, we are fricked. Oh, what in the world? It's these star missiles. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there was no chance. There was no chance. Like, look at this. What in the gush go good golly. Clearly it's my short pads, but. Ooh, ooh, honey. That was startling. Oh my goodness. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. As always, I'm here waiting for your comments. Definitely like the video as well. It helps me out a great deal more than I think people realize as well. Um, if you're up to it, comment. And if you haven't already done it, subscribe to the channel so that you get notified as well when all this and other content go up. Thank you guys so, so much for the support and I will see you next time. See ya.